the ring and Brunson out of Philadelphia is a former Golden Glove champion who won 80 fights as an amateur before turning pro at age 20. Now he admits that the pursuit of the knockout record did slow his growth as a boxer but he's remained unbeaten against more appropriate opposition in the three fights since his achievement including a three-round TKO less than a month ago. Tonight he steps up the competition and is anxious to show the world what he truly is. 24-year-old Tyrone Brunson, a young blend of speed and power, is 21-0-1 with 20 knockouts. A look behind the numbers, Steve. Well, Brunson obviously dressed for success. Paper chaos. He started off with 19 consecutive first-round knockouts. So what? Only one of his victims, Showbox alum James Morrow, had a winning record. Go long, Tyrone. No surprise, in 22 bouts, Brunson's fought only 36 rounds. In fact, he's been passed one round only three times his three most recent bouts, as Kurt mentioned. And the new Brunson, two distance fights in his last three. Well, as soon as his first round KO record was broken, Brunson started boxing more and punching less. Meanwhile, 23-year-old Carson Jones has almost as many fights as Brunson has rounds. He hasn't shied away from strong competition in his five-year career, giving respectable efforts against Jesus Soto Carras, Freddy Hernandez, and Roberto Garcia in decision losses. He's a boxer puncher who was unbeaten in his last six, including an eight-round decision in late October. His boxing journey began in Oklahoma City, where he was kicked out of school for fighting at the age of 14. It now brings him here to Showbox with a mark of 23-7-1 with 14 knockouts. Let's go behind the numbers, Steve. Well, this is a giant lead for Brunson. Jones, a huge step up. He's fought 166 rounds to Brunson's 36. He's been 10 rounds five times, and almost all of his losses have come against very good fighters. Have card will fight. This will be Jones' ninth fight this year. His 15th since 2008. Compare that activity to Brunson, who's fought only four times since 2008. And weighty issues. Go figure. Yesterday, Jones scaled 154 and a quarter. Three fights ago, he was 167. Last time out, he was 153, and he's been as light as 145. Junior middle, I think, is about where he belongs. It is time now for tonight's Showbox main event from the Shumash Casino Resort in San Inez, California. Undefeated Tyrone Brunson taking on Carson Jones in a junior middleweight bout scheduled for 10. Here now, our ring announcer, Mike Vail. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Shumash Casino Resort here in San Ynez, California, where tonight, Gary Shaw Productions, Julio Marinas Productions, and Showtime present an evening of professional boxing action. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The interim executive officer is Dave Thornton, Chairman Mario Rodriguez. The three judges scoring this bout are Jerry Cantu, David Denkin, and David Mendoza. And the referee in charge of the action is Dr. James Jenkin. So now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get the action started, I have one more thing to say. Santa Ynez, California, are you ready? This is the Showbox main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing in the junior middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing the yellow and white trunks. Official weight, 154 and one half pounds. He has a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses and one draw, with 14 of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Please welcome Kid Carson Jones. And now his opponent across the ring in the red corner. He is wearing the blue trunks. Official weight, 154 and one quarter pounds. He has a professional record of 21 wins, no losses, and one draw, with 20 of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, let's welcome the undefeated Tyrone, the one Brunson. Second 
You ready, baby? Mouthpiece. You're fighting a real fighter. Mouthpiece. You're fighting a real fighter. Mouthpiece. Hey, 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 come on, man. Mouthpiece. Gentlemen, obey my commands. Let's go. All right, let's go. Carson Jones thinks he's uh, Antonio Tarver with those words there. <laughs> Brunson with a long reach for this weight class. If he boxes from the outside, which is exactly what Jones is expecting, that reach advantage could be a key factor. Rules here in California, you can be saved by the bell in the last round. That's the major difference between these rules and the ABC rules. And so Tyrone Brunson unbeaten in the blue trunks. Carson Jones in the yellow and white. You heard Jones telling Brunson you're fighting a real fighter tonight and that has really been the question so far in the young career of Tyrone Brunson. Unbeaten but untested. And Kurt, that's a follow-up from the weigh-in when Jones went right, verbally went right at Brunson and sort of insulted him and said, you're not a real fighter. Amateur bout, Brunson, pretty good amateur. Uh, no championships, but national tournaments. Jones, Western Olympic trials in 04, didn't win it. And of course, the number of rounds is tremendously different. Brunson, with all those fights, averaging, what, one and a half rounds per fight. That kind of happens when you're first 19 or first round knockouts. But as we said, that record, best ever for a fighter, but maybe the most questioned ever for a fighter is really towards the end, even he admits his fighters were selected, his opponents were, to make sure that they didn't end that streak and that they went down, or the type of boxers that do go down rather early. Yeah, and if that was the case, it was a lot of wasted time. I mean, the guy could have been in the gym working on some real uh, skills to better able him to get by a guy like Carson Jones and, and beyond, you know. But it, it's you can obviously see that Tyrone knows his way around the ring. He has the style to be a good boxer. Uh, but just see how far, you know, see how this fight ends. And, and it's one of those things, you talk to him, he is almost embarrassed by that streak. He's changed his management set, since then and said, you know, they were more concerned about getting him a streak and getting his name out there more so than actually helping him become a better boxer. And if you look at it, his career really has been just one long sparring session almost. The first 19 so that he could set the record. And then after that, he's truly been trying to become a real boxer. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, the first thing you see when you see Tyrone Brunson, if the fans have not seen him before, he's chiseled. I mean, this guy is built. Yeah, he definitely looks the part, <laughs> you know, and right now his only focus should be uh, convincing Carson Jones that he has that knockout. Right, right. And with that Jeff Lacey-like body, I'm sure he scored some of those first-round knockouts before the bell ever rang. <laughs> <laughs> Little intimidation factor. Seems to be working the body of Carson Jones in the early going here. I like his movement. I mean, his defense is intact. But in boxing, you know, it's more mental than a lot of people want to believe. You know, you get mentally fatigued, you get mentally tired, and then, you know, your game plan goes out the window. He needs to stay mentally strong tonight throughout this fight. These two fighters step into the ring tonight with slightly different plans. Let's hear first from Tyrone Brunson. I'm going to step to this guy, use our jab, use our lateral movement, give him angles, and let him see different things. I bring speed. He's not. He's he's too slow for me. He's not going to be able to catch me. You know he. It, when I fight, it's, it comes natural. When he fights, he has to think about what he's going to do. So that's that's going to be the deciding factor. It's all right. It's a ten round fight. But we can't be. I don't want. I don't want to see you in these rounds. All right. All right. But just don't go wild. He's just trying to counter. That's all. All right. We'll pick it up. Carson Jones talked about his natural ability versus Tyrone Brunson thinking 
And that's one of the things we actually kind of picked up a little bit on in our fighter meetings is that Brunson seems to be trying to figure out who he is as a boxer. Definitely. I, I mean, that's why I mentioned identity crisis right now. Uh, is he that power puncher that his handlers want us to believe, or is he a systematic, stylistic fighter? Uh, you know, it looks like he has a, one of a, a great jab, but he needs to put that strong right hand behind it. Well, that's only the fourth time in his career he's gone to the second round, all for his last four. What I like about Brunson is that given that history he has, he's very relaxed in the ring. You might think that he'd be tightly coiled having scored so many first round knockouts, but he seems very comfortable and very capable of going along and he's quite, so far. And quite measured so far in this fight. You wonder about guys like that if they don't get over aggressive because they're used to fighting that way, but seems to be patient and waiting for the right opportunity against Jones. And unless I'm missing something, I don't see him taking a lot of punches. I don't think Jones has landed anything of note. I don't think he's landed at all. Another shot to the body by Brunson. You see Brunson trying to work that jab right in between the gloves of Jones. Connected there. Snap his head back. Great jab. Works the body to bring the hands down. He goes right back to the jab. One thing you can say about Brunson so far, he's got a plan. Most definitely. And seems very comfortable with it. Watch your feet. That jab is a power jab. I mean, that's a lot on that jab. He's not real good at bringing it back high after he throws it. A common mistake of young fighters. But maybe Jones can look for a counter right hand. No hold, no hold. Work it out. What's as impressive as anything so far from Brunson is not only his patience, but he's able to have power on his punches while walking backwards. Especially with that jab, yeah. Punch it, come out, let go. You know, Jones may take a lot of shots, but he's got the right idea. Pressure, pressure, pressure. He's keeping it in close, or as close as Brunson will allow. Let's do it, come on. Let's do it, come on. Breathe. Let's go. Sit down. How you feel, baby? Breathe. Got you in the bag. All right. You guys, give me that water. Right. You got the cold water right there. Cold water. Give the cold water. That's what a mouthpiece is. Breathe. Take a deep breath. Right. Nice leave. Don't get, there you go. You got to keep your chin down, down. Now you're trying to keep tumble on top of that right hand. All right, turn that shoulder. Keep the right hand up. Action from round two. You might not think that the fighter who holds the record for first round knockouts at the start of a career that the dominant weapon would be a jab, but that's exactly what it has been for Tyrone Brunson so far. The jab. You saw a beautiful jab there, but he didn't bring it back high. He brought it low. He can be countered once he steps up in competition, or maybe even tonight. Uppercut inside. He's open for the right uppercut. Now, he's down. All right, let's go. Yo, Slater. Tyrone Brunson told us he wanted to pace himself through these first couple of rounds, and that he has done. And it looks like Steve done it while winning those rounds. Oh, yeah, I think definitely uh, two very clear rounds for, for Brunson. Going right back to that jab. It has certainly been his most effective punch of the evening. Three rounds or more, Tyrone Brunson. Only three times, you see how many times for Jones. So this fight doesn't really begin for Brunson for a couple more rounds. And in his last fight against Antonio Sariano, uh, he looked great, just like he does now. But it was the third round, the fourth round, where it seemed like he dropped off tremendously. I'm anxious to see, can he keep that pace that he starts? 
he certainly believes he's in condition to go the distance. This fight scheduled for 10 rounds, but he's small, he's in trouble. Carson Jones with a right hand knocks Brunson down. And that's the first time Brunson has been knocked down in his career. And now he's looking defensive. It's exactly what we talked about. It was a lazy jab, and he got countered by a right hand. That was definitely a right hand counter. But before the round started, it seemed like he went into a shell. Maybe it's just a mental block that he has, that he just don't think he can keep that momentum up throughout the fight. He is certainly fighting much more defensively than he did in the first two rounds. And you can see Jones trying to take advantage. And what has that done for Jones? I mean, he's energized now. He knows he can win this fight. He's certainly more aggressive. <laughs> the combinations to the head. Very effective by Jones. And Brunson can do nothing but wrap up right now. If he don't throw anything back, the ref is going to be inclined to stop this fight. He needs to be moving. Referee's is ready to go. He's ready to jump in. And blood beginning to come out of the nose of Brunson. Jones delivering punishment, and the ref stops it. Carson Jones hands Tyro Brunson his first defeat, getting a knockout here in the third. Kurt, all I can say is when things got a little tough for Brunson, he didn't respond like a fighter. Didn't respond at all. You're talking about a guy that had the makeup to be a contender or a champion. I mean, he looked the part, the body had all the punches, all the punches, but the mental stopped him tonight. Just didn't believe he can do it. This fight turned on one punch. The right hand that knocked Brunson down, and from that point on, it was like he didn't want to fight. Exactly, and, and no problem at all with the stop. Antonio said it, well, we'll see it right there. There's the counter right, followed by a good left hook, but the right started it. And from this point on, he was a beaten fighter. He didn't know what to do. Watch the jab by Brunson. He wasn't too quick to bring it back, and Carson Jones just timed him perfectly. It was as if taking all those jabs for a couple of rounds prepared Carson Jones to land that single shot. And maybe the reason that Brunson had 19 consecutive first round knockouts at the start of his career was not because he was such a good puncher, but because he felt he needed to wipe these guys out because he can't take a punch. Well, my, my thing is this. I mean, the first two rounds he fought beautifully, but it seems like he put on a different mask coming out in the third round. He did not come out with the same intensity, didn't look to be aggressive. He just shelled up, he got caught, and once he got caught, it seemed like he just just quit. Well, he, he's not doing the two things you have to do, hold or punch back. Or so, move. Yeah, exactly. And maybe he didn't have the luck. Now, he's trying to dip, he's trying to dodge, bob and weave, but he's getting hit with some shots. And basically, he forced the referee's hand. James Jan Kane, who's been refereeing fights for about 150 years, yes. knows when to stop a fight, and he, he stopped it properly there. And it's the exact same fight when Ro that Roy Jones fought against uh, Green this weekend, this past Wednesday. Yes. Very Stood in the corner, way. didn't fire anything back. You have to protect yourself at all times, but you have to also keep in mind and be offensive. Kid Carson Jones! We came into this fight talking about Tyrone Brunson. We leave it talking about Carson Jones. And here's a young man who's now run his record to 24 at 7 and 1 and says, you know, don't be confused by those seven losses because he thought he had bad management early in his career matched him up against some fighters he was not ready for since then has been active and been successful well credit to carson jones he did what he had to do but to me this was about tyrone brunson losing more than it was about carson jones winning